Good morning, everyone. I'm Malvika Anandar, the HR manager at Acros Aviation Private Limited. Today, I'll be talking to you about how to write an air hostess or cabin crew resume. So, becoming a flight attendant is everyone's dream job. You're going to have a lot of competition throughout the way. So how do you ensure that your flight attendant resume stands out enough for you to get, you know, to fare well in the interview? Do not worry. We are about to take off. Fasten your seatbelts as we fly through this together, step by step. So the tips for preparing resume for air, hostess or cabin crew is as follows. So at the top, you should add your name, the address, and also give your personal details, the relevant personal details. Open the flight attendant resume with a career objective or summary statement, which basically describes why you are applying, applying for the job. List out your work history, your internships, and all the details that concerns your education, and tailor it perfectly so that it fits the flight attendant job description. Document your educational accomplishments and flight attendant skills. Add a few extra sections to ensure your flight crew resume stands out from the other applicants, which is, which is really relevant because right now we have a lot of competition going around and it is necessary that we tailor it in such a way that it stands out from, the all, or from all the other applications. Choose a great resume font to ensure everything is easy for the airline hiring manager to read. Don't forget to attach a flight attendant cover letter along with the resume. And the major point, like I said, the career objective or your objective should be clearly written and it should be crisp and to the point. So the career summary introduces you as a flight attendant candidate expresses your official desire to apply for the job role and talks up your previous experience, flight attendant skills and professional background. So some of the examples of the uh, career objectives uh, are given below. Some of them are right and some of them are wrong. So let's just take an overview of what's been given. So the right one is as follows. Personable safety oriented flight attendant with two plus years expertise on an international cabin crew. Achieved continent highest passenger satisfaction rating according to Skytrack surveys, that is 99.16%. Seeking to further develop my flight attendant skills and continue providing top care service by joining American Airlines as the new senior flight attendant. So this is a example of, of a perfect career objective that that is you know that fits your profile that says what you want and what you expect from the job and who you are so the wrong one would be i've been a flight attendant for the last two years in addition to my knowledge of flight attendant duties galley responsibilities and safety procedures i also carried out various ticketing duties scanning tickets boarding etc during peak periods the second one is kind of, it stands out as a very lethargic form of addressing yourself. It seems as if you not put in efforts to make yourself perfect for the hiring manager for you to stand out. So the next uh, would be uh, the uh, would be on how to write a resume for a cabin crew or air hostess. If you lack flight attendant experience, do not worry. Use the resume objective. The objective statement tells the airline about your career aspirations as a future flight attendant, rather than letting them focus on your lack of experience. Here too, however, still give them an achievement with numbers from your past. So these are the examples of uh, a career objective, which is no experience. So the right one is friendly and responsible, guest relations supervisor for large hotel chain, obtained highest regional client satisfaction scores of 98.37%, 
seeking to enliven my passion for travel by growing with the team at American Airlines. So that is the right way to put your career objective in such a way, even though you lack, uh, you know, uh, experience when it comes to being a flight attendant. The wrong one would be, I'm a hotel super supervisor without experience in the aviation industry. But many people say that I'm a fast learner, I'm highly motivated, love to fly, and turbulence doesn't bother me that much. It sounds very unprofessional and very, um, I mean, um, very easily put together. It's not as uh, it's not as structured as the first one. Use transferable skills and accomplishments from previous job positions of your university studies to show them that you'll make a perfect entry level flight attendant. The pro tips would be personalize your flight attendant resume template by using the airline's name in your objective or summary statement like interested in working for JetBlue because. So this shows that the airline reviewing your resume that you didn't simply send a generic resume rather that you put together a tailored one that fits uh, the requirements of that particular airline. So next is a sample for the cabin crew or air hostess resumes. Uh, the flight attendant job description resume sample is as follows. It should, uh, the right one should go like this. Senior flight attendant, January 2010, December 2012. Delta Airlines, New York. And it follows managed and coached junior cabin crew members during flights influenced business and first class clients to make educated beverage pairing decisions based on taste and meal menus, relate communication to passengers and cabin crew, and from the flight deck in a professional and personable manner, assisted passengers and instructed on passenger safety. The key achievements are identified alternate boarding system which led to a tar tarmac delay reduction of 17%. The wrong resume would be senior flight attendant, January 2010 to December 2012, Delta Airlines, New York, helped greet passengers responsible for first class passengers, good customer service skills, delivered messages between pilots and cabin crew. This, this sounds very, um, I mean, um, it sounds very bad when, when you compare it to the first one, it does not give you the details. It does not specify the work that you have done or where you have worked or what all you have done in your work experience. The next one is about, so see the differences. The wrong example seems okay at first. We explained our duties and tasks. However, that's just it. Those were our responsibilities responsibilities. In the right example, we itemized our duties with more detail. Then we included a proud achievements for the win. Oh, and the same goes for entry level flight attendant resumes as well. So the next significant for your resume is your job experience, your uh, the career that you had. Cleared for takeoff. You want to hear this from air traffic control and when the air, airline HR specialist reads your perfect cabin crew resume. How, you ask. Underscore your experience in a way which wakes them up like takeoff acceleration by jet propulsion. If you have flight attendant experience, you know the meanings of gate lies, blue juice and a crotch watch. Done this before? Years of experience? Great. Still pick those flight, you know, pick those perfect flight attendant resume bullets that are more relevant. Matching the airline's interest is in your best interest. Complicated. No, it's as, it's as easy as ATC. So mention your education. In the previous part, we talked about how it's better to align your goals with that of the uh, goals of the company that you're joining in, or particularly the airlines that you're joining in. So now we'll be talking about education. Things flight attendants don't need. 
you don't need drunk belligerent passengers you don't need heavy winds and intense meteorological events you don't need an education section on the resume you'd better think again while i imagine the first two are true you really don't need the passengers that are difficult to handle or the events but i do know that the education section is not just a valuable part of the perfect flight attendant resume it's almost always a necessity so take me as delta flight attendant job descriptions for example the minimum requirements that you will need is the ability to work in the us be at least 21 years of age by january 1 2018 and a high school degree or ged so this is a basic minimum for anyone who's applying for a flight attendant job see high school or its equivalent is required education needed to be a flight attendant and that's true on most flight attendant websites for jobs you'll search whether it's emirates or united airlines and this one one or more of the following will give you an edge one plus years of experience work experience in a personalized customer service like patient care or a similar role experience in a role ensuring the safety or care of others that is teacher military emt firefighter coach law enforcement lifeguard nurses peace corps etc and education beyond high school so from this you will notice that almost all of them have one thing in common one thing that makes you stand out is your education so how how should we put your education on your resume for a flight attendant Here's how to include your degree on your flight attendant resume. 2008 BA in International Hospitality Management, Cornell University, School of Hotel Administration, Ithaca, New York, 3.8 GPA. It gives you the school that you have joined in, the degree that you applied for, the year that you passed out, and your GPA. But what if you are still completing your university degree? Here's how to list a degree that is still in progress: BA in International Hospitality Management, Cornell University School of uh, Hotel Administration, Ithaca, New York. Expected graduation in 2020. And what if all you have is a high school diploma? Not to worry. List your high school, styling it like this: Townsend Harris High School, Flushing, New York. Graduated in 2004. so it does not matter if you are still pursuing your education or if you have completed it as long as you you know try and fill out the whole section with your complete information your year the subject that you have uh, applied for or the subject that you are pursuing the school that you are studying in and the place along with your graduation date in case you are pursuing your education if you have completed a degree skip listing your high school on your flight attendant then resume qualifications this is a pro tip stay consistent throughout your resume and make sure you get things right for example it is delta airlines two different words air and lines but united airlines is one word air and lines are put together so make sure that you pay attention to the tiny details put skills on air hostess or cabin crew resumes how do you do that that is what our next slides will be about so some of the resume skills that a flight attendant can put in their resume are people skills safety orientation announcements time management jet bridge maintenance and use communication skills aircraft intercom operation safety consciousness collaboration skills presentation skills and language skills so this is an example of Uh, uh an air hostess resume so the ones highlighted are the service oriented service oriented helps others enjoy variety passion for service helping others personalized customer service solving problems so all of these highlighted parts parts bring out you know the skills that uh, you have already incorporated in the resume uh, the job description the job description gives you a kind of idea of what all you need to put in as your skill whether it's technical or personal so here are two lists one is a an example of uh, the skills that the skills on the flight attendant resume job description 
and the other is a bad example. So the good ones are exceptional, personalized customer service, excellent external and internal communication, terrific record of safety and emergency care. The bad ones are people skills, communication, safety. The difference between the two is that the second one seems as you've Googled the whole thing and that you have come up with come up with the same skills from looking over a couple of resumes and you find that it attracts attracts attention. You don't put in much effort. While the other one sounds perfect fit for the job description that you have in the resume for a, a, the, uh, the, the job description you have for a flight attendant. In the first one, you look like uh, you look like the answer to an ancient airline prophecy, just who the hiring, man hiring manager has been searching for. We'll include the perfect skills on your flight attendant resume and we'll vacuum up the unnecessary ones with the force of an airplane toilet flush. So was it a good flight or was it a delightful departure? An agreeable arrival, an extraordinary exemplification of aerial navigation. Use action verbs and colorful words to make your resume more appealing to them. However, watch out for too much flourish or exaggerated description. Some recruiters may consider them inappropriate. Thank you for being a part of this presentation and I hope you had a good time.